back with another ammo test from the 45 Colt, this time Spear Gold Dots. This is a big bullet. This is 250 grains, and if you look in the hollow point cavity, the thing is just massive. This is a serious bullet. And Gold Dots, I'm a fan of Gold Dots in just about any caliber bigger than 380. 380, they were kind of iffy, but 9mm on up, Gold Dots have been great performers. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how this does out of a 45 Colt. This is a Raging Judge Magnum, six and a half inch barrel. So this should get some significant velocity and, and this should be a very damaging round, but uh, there should, and then there's is. Let's go find out what is. The gold dots in 45 Colt look like they had just excellent penetration and huge expansion. The shortest bullet in the block is at 10 inches, but it's obvious that it actually penetrated much further. You can see the damage track sticking way out in front, and so we had substantial bounce back on that bullet. We correct the bounce back using the Schwartz formula, and that gives us the true penetration, which we have a shortest bullet of 13 inches, one at 13 and a quarter, one at 13 and 3 eighths, one at 13 and a half, and one at 13 and 3 quarters. Examining the recovered gold dots, what are you going to say? They're perfect. In all possible ways, perfect. Absolutely massive expansion, completely symmetrical. Uh, you know what? They're gold dots. And gold dots have their reputation for some very good reasons. I think these performed spectacularly. All right, I gotta call that uh, perfection. That was pretty much perfect results for an ammo test. The gold dots performed spectacularly. They expanded massively. They all expanded perfectly. They penetrated deeply. They didn't come anywhere near over penetrating. And even from the gigantic barrel here, they performed very well. I was a little surprised at just how slow they were. I mean, we had some in, you know, 700 feet per second, but that didn't stop it. That giant 250 grain bullet, when it got moving at that rate, it just plowed through the gel and expanded and, and really created a very effective wound trauma cavity with a massive 65 ranking on the McPherson wound trauma indicator. Uh, on the 380 test, I was getting numbers around between 17 and maybe 23. Uh, in the 9 millimeters, we've had some 35s, maybe 40, but 65 grams of tissue destroyed is, is huge. That's a very incapacitating round. Even if it didn't hit the vitals, it's still going to cause some serious system shock to whoever gets hit by this. So as a defensive round, gold dots, 45 Colt, high, high recommendation. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all the support, all the likes, all the shares. Um, if you would like to be notified when new events are posted or new tests are posted, just hit subscribe and you'll be notified. Thanks.